Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Evan with the Swing Trade Pros team here. And in this short video, I'm gonna take you guys through a quick trade recap here of last night's trade that was posted in the STP Alert service. If you guys like these trade recaps, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and let's get to the charts. All right, guys. So as you guys can see here on my chart, I know there's a lot of stuff happening on this chart right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove a lot of these little uh, indicators that I'm running here. But basically what I want to tell you guys and show you guys is just the classic pattern that I always trade. I always look for these falling wedge type patterns. And you guys can clearly see that we have something exactly like this on the chart here and indicative of this on the four hour time frame, um, I believe I called this out last night. Um, sometime in the early morning hours, I was up really late looking at charts for some reason, and I came across this setup. And so you guys were all able to benefit from that. So basically what I saw here before this positive momentum started to brew was we had this, this divergence here. We have a low, the lowest low on, on momentum, um, a middle histogram island here, and then another another small bit of, of uh, negative momentum. But if you look, the lowest level of momentum, and this is a higher level of negative momentum, however, a lower low on price. So lower le levels of negative momentum, but lower lows on price is essentially a divergence in price, right? So once you have a divergence in price and your forming this down sloping triangle or what I like to call a falling wedge type pattern, you know, you're looking to get that push off this support level here, which is what we got. We have the lowest low, a higher low, and then another higher low. And we were showing that bullish divergence. Okay. That's how I was able to identify this as a nice little trade setup. Now, I don't think that this move is done. I think it can get to this 382 fib extension area here around this 33 cent area and even on up to the entire measured move of a falling wedge pattern which is usually up to the 50 percent area all right and so if we were just to take our quick measuring tool here and go from the bottom of the triangle to the top of the triangle we're looking at about a 66 percent 66 and a half percent move now typically you don't do the whole move of the triangle you do about half the move of the triangle so that would put us uh okay 66 and a half percent would put us right up to the 786 fib extension which is right around that 43 cent area again i'm estimating about half the move being done in this short time span now i'm sitting on a four hour chart this could take a couple days to play out right we could get this move up here to this you know this 30 cent area we could consolidate here at this 236 fib extension and then form another pattern right you know we might we might end up forming this inverse head and shoulders pattern right where we get this consolidation here and then the next move up but this is still technically a falling wedge breakout is what i like to call this and so if you guys like this type of content this type of education make sure you guys smash that like button up if you guys are new to the channel and you guys like this type of content also make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and tick the little bell all right i'm going to take you guys through one more trade here that i actually just posted uh, earlier this morning in the discord channel by the way guys if you guys want to join the discord make sure you guys click the link in the description below that says discord link you just click it and if you if you're new to discord you'll have to create an account and then you'll be able to walk through our channel uh, once you enter the channel there's a main chat area where you'll see all the community engagement happening if you're interested in the alerts that I'm that I'm posting here or recapping here you can simply message any of the STP team members myself mr. note it all STP Todd or STP ninja trader or if none of us are available you can also message any of our mods they are usually actively uh, monitoring the channels and would glad would be more than glad to help you guys out all right so let me get to the next trade here that I just posted which is GRT USDT and I'm actually trading this on the futures accounts and um, so as you guys can see here we're uh, we're coming to an area where we, we had a previous support now, this is on a four hour time so I'm gonna go to the hourly to kind of kind of show you guys what I see here and why I see value in it again this to me looks like a uh, a sort of wedge pattern right you have this down sloping uh, resistance line I like to call these supply lines 
a lot a supply line because there's a lot of sellers at this at this area right and now if we were to take um, another line here after this flag that it made okay we, we can we can see that the range is getting really tight here uh, on this asset um, coming into this into this trying triangular type formation um, similar to what we normally trade these these falling wedge type patterns now the question is are we showing any divergence the answer is yes you can clearly see on the RSI we're making a higher low on the RSI however we have made lower prices right than these lows here so lower lows on price but we've we've hit oversold on the RSI now this isn't exactly perfect like the uh, the beam trade okay but we will get in my opinion we will get a nice little move uh, back to at least the top of the range here at least around this 36 37 cent area this could just be a quick scalp trade uh, because we're not showing any crazy divergence here on the four hour i'm gonna uh show you guys this here so on the four hour actually we're actually losing positive momentum here so what could end up happening is like i just said we could just end up making a lower high and then moving further down again this is just a scalp trade Make sure you guys take this trade with caution as it is not a for sure certain play and although the momentum is on the four hour weaning however but if you guys look at the volume the volume is also receding so there could be and this is what i'm what i why i took a, a risk on this trade is that there could be um a nice little uh candle that we get a volume here because this is a new asset on on binance okay and i do think it's possible we do see uh, because there isn't really a lot of chart data on this and if we go to like maybe uh, back to the hourly here we can see that um, we've sort of made a higher low bottom here and have been holding this support for now and if we were just to get some simple targets on this little mini wedge here I'm going to do the fib tool here from the swing high here to the swing low here and if we were to get this whole move to play out you know around a 32 percent measured move again you probably do about half the move which would put us if we did get a breakout we did get a breakout you know 32 percent putting us like right around that you know 886 fib extension uh, but i'm targeting really this 39 to 40 cent area and ultimately really targeting right now this 37 cent area you know two pennies but that's a nice little move for a scalp trade Right, so two pennies putting you at about a six percent move. You know, you're on a five X lab trade or something. That's you know, that's a nice trade. It's a thirty percent trade. All right, guys. If you guys like this content, make sure you guys smash that like button up. If you are new to the channel and you like what you see here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and tick the little bell. And we will catch you guys in the next video.